Come to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, coming to you from ITW 2020. Joining me today is Cherawat Mahawat, VP of the Greater Mekong Subregion for HGC. Uh, Cherawat, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, 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 Bob. Thanks a lot for your introductions and really nice to meet all of you. And uh, this week is ITB is very excited to be and uh, we wish uh, uh, we could meet you more in ITB virtually first year and it is great. Yeah, well, and you're coming uh, to us today from a long distance. You're in Thailand, of course, and we wish we could meet you virtually, but it's nice that uh, technology allows us, of course, to connect like this. Uh, can we start by just for those of us, for those viewers who don't already know, I'm sure most do, but for those who don't, can you tell our viewers a little bit about HGC? Uh, yes, um, HGC, we are Hong Kong based fixed operators, uh, mostly uh, we support the, uh, uh, we are the infrastructure company provide a global network, uh, including the landline, the terrestrial, um, the submarine infrastructure, the data centers, um, everything that, um, uh, name it, we support telco business and also the B2B business sectors. Uh, we've been here for 20 years and then still keep expanding. Uh, my role is um, I'm taking care uh, for some country in subcontinent in Asia, we call the GMS, the Greater Mekong Subregions. For someone that uh, have not familiar with the GMS, it means it's a subcontinent within the country. It consists of the five countries, namely Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, and Myanmar, five countries. The total population is um, 250 million population is here. And the reason that we call this GMS is because there are similarities in terms of the growth, uh, the development in the country, uh, the way the behavior of the consumer in these regions. That's why we group it as a GMS. And HTC, we divide our business into sub-regions. We have the Asia region, the GMS, we have America, we have Europe, the Middle East. Uh, so, uh, our team covered the entire world and um, we expand the business uh, to meet, uh, to help the, the customer achieve their objective in, in different regions. And yeah, they, we, I'd like to uh, give you more information about uh, what we are doing here in GMS and thanks for the opportunities. Yeah, well, and I understand that you actually have just announced some exciting news just in time for ITW. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yes, if you see the news, we just announced expansion of the new coverage in GMS. Um, in fact, uh, in GMS, we have um, uh, deployed the network for more than uh, uh, nearly 20 years. Um, but we start from the very thin network connecting every destination in GMS in those countries uh, to serve the corporate market at that time. But the business growing in an exponential ways in GMS, um, we are talking about uh, sometimes it's uh, two digits growth and sometimes it's one digit, but, but most of the time it's a high, high growth in these regions. And the way the behavior of the, the, the people, uh, the business user in these regions, they are changing a lot. That's why we have to act in some company to the network. Sometimes it's a, it's a, a normal app in the, um, on the company, but sometimes it's overhaul. And this time we announced is a major pop, uh, a new uh, interconnection, a new investment in a, a, a data center, which uh, to serve the new demands in the market that we see a lot of growth in these regions. So what we have done is that we put a new pop in Bangkok and link back to the all infrastructure that we have. But this time we focus on uh, helping key OTT clients to achieve their targets. They have a very challenge years in this coming uh, one or two years, especially this year. And our job is to make sure that we, we give them what they want. And, and we think and we act it and 
I mean, um, we add in some 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 component which will be interesting. I, I can tell you more about those uh, strategy and also what we like to do in the coming years also. Yeah, I'd like to hear that. I was I was going that was going to be my next question. So obviously. Um lots happening already that you're announcing, but does this fit into HGC's overall um, network expansion strategy in, in Thailand and the GMS? Uh, yes, okay. Let's put this way. Um, the strategy is that, I mean, sometimes the expansion is just, um, I mean, every year we have to upgrade on equipment and capacity we add in, in every box in the world. But sometimes it's a, uh, it's a major decision to add in the major component of building up a new one. This time we build up the new one. We have a team in headquarters and working closely with the regional team like us um, to identify where are the future demands. I mean, whether the demand is, uh, is uh, valid and whether it's not just spice uh, one time and comes and go, it, whether it's um, consistent and, and keeping um, in the coming years or not. And also, whether it's a good time that uh, we strike a deal that, I mean, coping with the, the dropping in the value price. And this time this year is a good match because there's a huge drop in the bandwidth price. That's why we decided to, to strike a deal. And also, um, that's why we come, come back with the solutions and then we decide to, to implement it. Um, with this part, we activate a huge bandwidth back to Hong Kong and Singapore. It's come up with the, both together with the infrastructure, the new set of treatment to accommodate the, the old type of the business, the IPOC types, and also the new demand for data center to data center, which uh, the OTT market are uh, asking for it. And also uh, we activate the big uh, capacity between the data center so that um, once the demands come in, we can switch it immediately and then just give a, a try out to some customer. Our strategy is that, I mean, uh, the OTT have to be ready for, I mean, we have to give everything ready for OTT for that growth. That's, that's, that's what we did. Right. I understand. Well, it's, you know, always exciting to hear from, from you guys. It's always, you know, there's so many things happening in, you know, the, the region specifically that you're responsible for. So um, we appreciate the updates. For any of our viewers who may want to learn more about anything uh, that you've just told us about, your, your new expansion, uh, your latest news, where can they go to learn more? Um. In fact, uh, we, we have the published information in our website. Uh, you can go to hitgc-intr.com to check for information. And also we have the, the email that uh, distributed to our audience. And just uh, uh, subscribe to ITW and then we have uh, distributed those information also. And also in LinkedIn, you can search the uh, HTC Global Communication and be a part of our community and we can share more information also. Great. No shortage of information from you guys. So anyone who wants to go to your website is um, the easiest way, I'm sure. So hgc-intl.com uh, is the website and all sorts of information online as well uh, about you. And I just wanted to thank you so much uh, for your time here today. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.